How do you really know what search engines think about your website? Well, the website health and how good of a score you get is what we're gonna talk about today. So you may have spoken to a lot of SEO experts. Maybe you got a call from somebody who said that they rank you number one in Google. Well, you don't really want to jump on those unless you have some context to what's happening with the site health of your website. Now, there are a ton of tools out there that are great for uh, assessing your ranking, but one of my favorite tools, which actually assesses the site health, is a tool called WooRank, like woo woo. W-O-O-R-A-N-K. Now, what you're seeing in front of you is the kind of the front door, if you will, of this tool. Now, you can run a free audit right here. So I can go in, I can run any domain, and then it's gonna go out, it's gonna look under the hood of your website. Google is not gonna rank a website that is not technically sound. So you could go and do a bunch of different optimization on your blogs, on your pages, and if the website is just technically not trustworthy, all that work's gonna be for none. So the most important thing is to use these kinds of tools to go in and make sure that you are able to really understand how to tweak it. These reports are going to give you then a, a, a piece of data you go and say, webmaster, please get this to 100%. Now, most websites never get to 100%, but we wanna make sure that we get as high as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and run my website in here, findability.com. Now I have an account and I'm logged into that account, but you can run one free report before you have to sign up. So run it carefully. All right, so this is a website called Autism Hope Alliance. Let me just show you an example of the kind of work that we do. When you sign up for a findability audit, we always run this report. And it's great because we're able to really show you in real time what's going on under the hood of your website. What do I really need to be fixing? Okay, so here's autismhopealliance.org. Now, they got a 73 out of 100, which is pretty good, but we wanna make sure it's the very best technically sound, healthy website. So when you run it, you're gonna see this right in front of you. Now I'm gonna scroll down, and what we're gonna look for is we're gonna look for red. I wanna get the red out of this report. Now, what's important to look at here is a couple different elements. So we're looking at top down. We're gonna start with the title, then we're gonna go into the meta description, and then we'll keep on going down. All right, so let's take a look at the first thing that WooRank gives us a assessment on, which is the title tag. Now, what you'll notice here is that they have home right in the title tag. Now, the title tag is what shows up, you'll see right here, this is what shows up in Google search. So before I ever even click, I am seeing home dash autism hope alliance. Now, <laughs> unless you're a home designer or an interior decorator or a home builder, the convention of home is really done. You don't need to tell anyone they're at your home page, they're already there. So what my recommendation would be for this Hope Alliance is to take the home out and talk about what kind of company they are, who do they serve, and how do they help. So maybe it's the, um, Let's see here, education, financial support, and volunteerism for families facing the diagnosis of autism. So what we might wanna do is rewrite this title tag to say the leader in autism education and support. Something that comes right out of the gate and tells me exactly what it is the company does. That shows up right in search results. So it's very important that you really think beyond just the name of your site. Now, we're gonna look next at meta description. Now, meta description is what shows up in search results right underneath the title tag. You'll see here that this says education, financial support, volunteerism for families facing the diagnosis of autism, the first autism nonprofit from the natural foods industry. So this is a food-based website that's helping um, families and, and people with autism around nutrition and health. And you'll notice that right here, like what's my next step? So a lot of times this is in the Google preview, also called the snippet, shows up right inside search results. And it's so important that we craft this very carefully. I like to think of this as the very first virtual handshake. 
So when I see you in search results, I'm then gonna make a split second decision on whether I'm going to click on your site. So this is the moment where you need to think, what am I gonna say that's gonna grab them right away? So home, Autism Hope Alliance, uh, not really very interesting. The leader in autism support and, and nutrition, that's a whole different kind of offer. So be really careful about what, you, what you're putting here in your title tag as well as in your description tag. Now another thing you might wanna consider putting here is a phone number. Talk to an autism specialist, talk to an autism expert, talk to an autism nutrition expert and put the phone number right there. <laughs> Have you ever noticed when you go to a website like the phone number is like a scavenger hunt? You can't find it or it's an eight point type in the footer of the website? Let's not do that. Let's make sure that the phone number is prominent, hopefully at the very top of the website before I ever scroll down. Okay, so let's keep going down. I'm just looking for the red in this report. So as I go down here, we're gonna make sure that we're looking at all the different elements. Now, you'll see here that XML sitemap right here is nowhere to be found. Now, this is incredibly important because the XML sitemap tells Google all the pages that are being visited on your website as well as when you see those pop downs in search results. So let me go over to a, just a Google, a Google search. I'm going to do um, Autism, Autism Hope Alliance. Now what you'll see here is the XML sitemap is so important because it dictates what shows up here. Now we don't have the ability, these are called site links. We can't change the site links, unfortunately, but these are the most visited pages on your website. So let's take advantage of this. If these are the most visited pages, not only do we want to do the title tag, so here's the title tag. We want to make sure we have a really strong call to action there. Then we have the description tag right underneath it. Tell me how you're going to help me as a visitor. Give me a phone number there. And then you'll see these are called the site links. And they're very important that we make sure that the XML sitemap, which is super nerdy, but your website developer will know how to get this fixed. I don't expect you to know all the elements of this report. What your job is, is to make sure they get fixed. Okay, so as we come down, let's see what else we see. So we're gonna fix the XML sitemap. Let's keep going down. Looks good, looks good. Ah. So it's amazing the little things that can erode your authority with Google. They don't have a custom 404 error page. So when I go to the wrong page in the website, I get this generic you know, 404 error that's not helping me to continue my path with you. It also is a bit discrediting because why do you have a broken page on your website? So you want a custom 404 error page. My website has an ice cream scoop, has an ice cream cone. One of the um, scoops has fallen off of the ice cream cone and it says, you must be lost. Click here to go back to the home page. So make sure to have a custom 404 error page. And again, your web designer will know how to fix this, no problem. Okay, let's talk about domains. Domains are really interesting. So when you have like autismhopealliance.com, you'll see how they have .com and .net. They both expire in six months. My recommendation is that you have the .com, the .net, and the .org of your primary domain. Stop buying domains. I don't care what kind of extension like .autism, don't buy that. If you look at the search results, you really only see .coms, .net, and .orgs. Every now and then you'll see an outlier like a .us or a .biz, but most of them are .com. To protect your brand online, make sure you have all three. Also that you buy two years ahead on that domain. You'll see here that Google's looking at this and saying, well, are you gonna be around in six months? So buy two years ahead on your uh, domain just so that Google has no reason not to trust that you're gonna be going away anytime soon. Okay, let's just keep going down. Now, as you look through this, there's going to be all kinds of things that you might see that are going to be red. This report actually looks pretty solid, and that's exactly what I want to see. So 73 out of 100 is actually not bad, but I want them to have an 80, a 90, anything we can do to tweak the engine of the website to make sure that when I show up with all of the findability goodies, the content, the keywords, the, the blogs, the social, that I'm getting full credit for this work. 
So if you like this Wu Rank Report but would like someone to hold your hand through it, we'd love to help you to do that. So we also offer a findability review where you can go in and we run this report for you and then we walk you through all the steps. Now on our website, findability.com, you'll be able to sign up for a findability audit. You'll get right onto my calendar and I'll walk you through this report. Remember that you're never gonna get ranked unless you have an engine that is purring like a kitten. And WooRank.com will make sure that you have all of those little tiny things fixed so when you do start to really do findability on your website that it's going to rank over all the keywords you're looking for. Just gotta make sure that engine is nice and ready to go. So if you liked what we talked about with your audit or your website health, sign up for a findability review. We're gonna run those same tools. We're gonna take a look, pull back the curtain, see what's going on with your website, how to improve your ranking so we can make you the most findable business online. Don't forget, ring the bell, click the bell below, subscribe to our channel because we are committed to giving you great quality content to be the most findable business online.